Well, Swan Island Dahlias has been around since way back in the day, and obviously, or way back in the day, obviously Swan Island is in their name, but Canby is where they're actually located, and they're also the largest dahlia grower in the entire United States. So you can check them out one more time this year, Saturday, Sunday, and Labor Day Monday. That's this weekend. It's the second and final weekend of Swan Island Dahlia's annual Dahlia Festival. Bright ones like Ginger Snap, big ones like OMG, I mean, OMG! Beautiful ones like American Beauty, named after my wife. Yes, I am using the segment now to score brownie points at home. Those are just three of the more than 350 varieties of dahlias that you'll find out here at Swan Island Dahlias in Camby. That may sound confusing. We'll clear that up in a moment. But first, let me introduce the woman who is standing next to me, Heather Gets Schlow. So we're here to, because of your festival, Heather. But whenever I come out here, and I've been coming out here for years, people always ask me, at least one person will say, hey, if it's called Swan Island Dahlias, why are they in Canby? Explain. We started back 1927 on Swan Island. So it's a little confusing for the locals because we've moved out to Canby back in the 40s, but we're in Canby. Well, a moment ago, I was uh, highlighting some of the cool names because you name all of these flowers. I've noticed you've got some named after you, like Gets Attention, that's your family's <laughs> last name. You've got one named after your grandfather, Nick Sr. I saw one that was even named after me. There it is. Who, me? I assume that's me. That's right. <laughs> so really, who, who's naming all these flowers? Talk about that process. Us as a family, we introduce about 10 uh, new ones each year. And so it takes about five years in production to get to that point. Um, there is one really special one. It's called My Hero. It's this gorgeous, giant purple that my dad has been babying for years. And isn't every dad a hero? So we thought My Hero was perfect. Besides all the flowers that we see out here, what's happening during the Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of this festival? The biggest spectacular thing to see is the indoor display rooms. And so we only do those the two weekends a year, and that's over 15,000 blooms brought inside. Florists arrange them all on Friday. It's spectacular. One more look at the fields of flowers. Swan Island Dahlias located in Canby, the final three days of their annual Dahlia Festival this Saturday, this Sunday, this Labor Day Monday. Hmm. Beautiful fields. I mean, they really are cool if you've never been down there. And uh, one way to get there, which I did not use yesterday, but uh, I would always suggest checking out the Canby Ferry because it oh, literally yeah. drops you oh, off yeah. like yeah. a mile from the flower fields there. How much is the Canby Ferry? I'm just curious. <clears throat> off the top of my head, I don't know. But I think it's about $5 <laughs> a car. Did you get on for free? No, I said I did not use it. Oh, yet. you did not use it. Yeah. But I would recommend using it if you've never done it before. But it's the Dahlia good. fields, like you were saying, I mean, the yeah. flowers are up higher yeah. physically when you're walking yes. versus like the tulip festival yes. right. that are. I could not have done that same live shot. You never would have you seen it. You never saw it. <laughs> <You're saying, "Look." laughs> Where am I? <laughs>